Never is it really a good idea to bring your phone out to the hot tub, but today is a special exception because I am going to talk to you about something that I had just learned. And it's so cool being a part of this group because I can get so much information from so many different people who are making so many different things happen in their lives. And one of the things that I was hearing today was the idea of writing down your visions we're all visionaries, but some of us just don't use it in the way that it's meant to be used. You know, like actually using your creative imagination for everything that it can do for you. A lot of us have been discouraged from actually using our imaginations from a very young age, and it's detrimental to our futures because it doesn't ever cause us to set goals or to have ambitions or dreams. And when you are able to just set your focus and your intention on all the things that you want to manifest in your life and you write it out specifically and you actually verbalize that you speak your future into existence amazing things happen and this has actually happened to me on multiple occasions i i told myself that within a week i would have you know a sixteen hundred dollar day and i did it and i had no idea how it was going to happen or who was going to do that and, you know how, what sale that was going to be to actually create that for me in my life but it happened and the amazing thing too is that you know I had a trip to Europe when I was 16 that you know I had no idea how it was going to happen but I spoke it into existence and I put it out there for the universe and it all came together I had the funds I had everything that I needed and so with that said with the company that I'm a part of we think and we dream and we mastermind and we all use our creative imaginations to really shape and mold our futures and how beautiful is it to have like a group of people who all do this together and they're all actively using the law of attraction and the laws of alignment and the principles of the universe to actually make things happen in their lives so this really cool exercise that I was reading um, in the book psycho cybernetics is to actually envision, you know, both futures. One where you are not living the way that you would like to and the one where you have everything that you're seeking for and writing it out and actually, you know, envisioning it in the full perfection and using the movie theater of your mind to play these mental movies and actually see things with such vivid detail and such clarity that you feel as though you're already living it. And as an artist, you know, I'd thought about that because, you know, oftentimes I use my imagination to map out a painting before I do it. And so I'm very familiar with this idea of doing things and I'm an avid daydreamer and I just, I am very imaginative, but for practical uses, I never realized that I could actually do this with, you know, common things. You know, you always think that it has to be something very elaborate and creative and ornate, but you can use this even with traffic lights, and you can use this with just getting to your destination on time. You can set your intentions and, you know, shape what you would like things to look like and let it go to the universe. And more often than not, I have found that this actually does work, and it's very, very fascinating. So I just wanted to share this with you because I think that these sort of rehearsals in our mind for the futures that we want to create for our lives are very paramount to getting to where we want to go. For me currently, I'm working towards my own goals within this company and, you know, it actually feels like it's a really real reality for me to be able to get there. You know, I have had a goal for, you know, $20,000 that I really want to be able to create this you know, tiny home for John and I to be able to travel around the country. And that is my first goal, really, that I really would love to have. It's so cute. Oh, the tumbleweed tiny houses are so adorable. And John and I, you know, what we actually did, we rehearsed it before we actually, you know, decided that we really wanted it. We went up to Olympia, Washington and tried it on for size and imagined what it would be like to live there. And we did live there for two days and it was amazing because it was so much like what I envisioned it to be. So this is really, really key, is trying things on for size, your goals, you know, getting around the people that you want to 
be like, getting around the people that you want to have results like, getting around the people who are also visionaries and dreamers just like you. And what happens is that there's like this synergy, take two, there's this synergy that happens and you start to actually believe in yourself again and you start to realize that your dreams are really not that far off and you're a lot closer than you thought you were. So that's the importance of getting around people who are doing things and using their creative imaginations and actually allowing themselves to imagine and envision and bring out that little child in them that, you know, believed everything was possible for themselves. So often in society we believe that we can't do the things that we want to do, we can't achieve the things that we want to achieve because there are set ways of doing things and going about life as we know it. So the really hard thing about that is that you don't you never get exposed to what else is possible. So I currently have a manifesto and that's really a very important thing that I've noticed in refocusing your mind on your visions and your goals. I mean there's, you know, playing mental movies, there's also rehearsals and actually acting it out as if something was going to happen, you know, a situation a conflict or something that you want to work through and have success in. A suggestion in which we can actually use our minds to start, our subconscious minds, to start shifting our beliefs that we have and hold so near and dear to our hearts, right? You know, I can't do it, I'm not skinny enough, I'm not fit enough, I'm not blah, 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 blah. I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not cool, I'm not geeky enough, I don't know technical stuff, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And that's basically what it all boils down to. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And so when you start using auto-suggestion, it starts giving your subconscious mind new data to work with, really. It starts giving you the ability to start imagining things in a different way, as if, you know, you already had them and you know your neural networks start rewiring and you start actually thinking in different ways and you start acting like the person you have spoken into existence. I had a really funny thing happen to me where you know I was actually standing in line for a placement test at a local college and I hadn't been in a math class for over two years. I had no idea. I hadn't studied. I hadn't done anything. And I'm not even particularly that good at math. And I was speaking into existence, you know, I am this math genius, I am a math wizard, I am so good at math. Math comes easily to me, effortlessly. And I was saying this stuff mentally in my mind over and over and over again while I was, you know, waiting in line for this test. You know, what happened was because I was using, engaging my creative imagination to give me these traits, I actually placed really highly, you know, in like a Calculus 2 class. Like, it was crazy. And I was like, oh my god, this is crazy because, you know, this isn't supposed to happen. So I just want to share and these examples that I'm sharing with you are from my own personal experience. And I do have personal experience with using creative imagination to bring things about. You know, some call it God, some call it the universe, some call it, you know, your higher self, whatever. It, it's, it's the thinking stuff of the universe, as Think and Grow Rich would like to call it, that we start molding and shaping with our words and our intent. So if you want to continue learning more about what I'm talking about, and if you would like more information as to this really awesome business that gave me a $1,600 day, Amir a $3,000 day, and Kilal a $4,650 week, click the link below you'll get in touch with us and you'll learn more about being able to develop your spirit and your heart and your soul and your mind as well as your bank account. It's all connected. It's all connected and you can't split them off from one another. With you, your creative imagination intact and actually being able to utilize it, nothing is impossible for you. Click the link below, get in touch with me and I'll talk to you soon.